<laughs> we might have got some good news, guys. We might have just gotten some good news in the house today. <laughs> so, if you don't already know, there is a TV show coming. Wait, TV show? You don't give a fuck about it. Sorry. A Sonic TV show coming in 2022 that they prematurely announced and deleted the announcement. And naturally, we've been clamoring for some information on this TV show. But it looks like in this instance, we've got a little bit more than just TV show information. We've got something that, in my opinion, is oh so much bigger. So, Tyson Hess. If you don't know who Tyson Hess is, what's wrong with you? Basically, Tyson Hess is someone who has done a lot of great things for the franchise. He was a part of the team that worked on Sonic Mania thanks to the animations that he did in the build up to the game and the animation in the intro of the game like you know with the friends music in the background uh, 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 na, 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 na. yeah iconic he also did Sonic Mania Adventures and his biggest thing that he did for the Sonic community is when Paramount fucked up the design of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie thinking that that was gonna work with the casual market and they were horrifically wrong Tyson Hess came in saved the day and basically put them on the path to greatness and gave them an actual good redesign of the Sonic character. Up until that point, he had basically been doing a lot of classic Sonic related things, but with the movie, it was like, here's the big thing for modern. Like, what? Well, I don't know if movies, movie is movie. I don't know. I don't like these separations, which is actually part of the video topic because <laughs> they asked Tyson Hess about the TV show and he had some things to say. So we turn to the Almighty Tales channel for the source and it says here, Tyson Hess not involved in 2022 Sonic the Hedgehog animated series. Now you're probably thinking, really, Prem? That's the new he was like, no, <laughs> there's more, there's more, let's just trust. The well-known artist and animator said he is not involved in Netflix's upcoming Sonic animation and dispelled rumors of a classic Sonic-driven series. We're not done yet, we got more. Well-known Sonic the Hedgehog artist Tyson Hess confirmed he will not be involved in Netflix's upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog animated series early Friday morning. In a response to a post published on Sonic Retro, Hess cited his awareness of the upcoming series but clarified that he has no involvement in next year's animated series. Then they quote him and it says, I am not involved in the show i've been in the loop about it but don't have the bandwidth to be a part of it right now basically saying oh nigga don't hate me because i'm busy nigga maybe if you go rid of that old unsharpened ass pencil you get some animation work on your resume he's, he's got work you know what i mean now this is where it gets interesting hess also commented that should he be involved that the animated series would have not taken a classic Sonic direction. Basically saying, if you want me to work on this shit, ain't gonna be no classic shit here, you know what I mean? Which is kind of interesting, coming from someone who did so much classic work for the series, but I guess he's just a fan of Sonic in general, you know? Referencing Sega's intention to adhere to modern Sonic. And then they quote him and says, but for what it's worth, I probably wouldn't have chosen to do a classic show anyway. Woo! Sega is never going to return to classic Sonic wholesale, and the split isn't doing this franchise any favors, said Hess. Thank you. I agree. No favors are being done here. Even though Hess will not be involved in the animated series, now deleted reports suggest that he may be scheduled to work on the Sonic movie sequel in 2022 with production scheduled to commence in a few months time. So obviously given that he's probably working on the movie sequel, I mean he already designed Sonic so that's probably not going to be the thing that he's going to be focused on because the animators and all that will do the grunt work. But he's probably going to have to work on things like Tails design or if there are any other characters showing up. We already know Knuckles is showing up so Knuckles design is probably going to work on that. I mean I don't know how much of the grunt work he does like does he just design the character and let the lower level guys do all the animation or is he heavily involved in that as well like the movements of the characters and facial expressions and whatnot he's got some work to do for that i don't know what other things he's working on but I i'm assuming he's got work so which is why he's too busy to go and work on some animated tv show but the fact that he said sega is never going to return to classic sonic wholesale and then add his own opinion like the spit's not doing the franchise anything. he said that he wouldn't have even worked on the show if it was taking a classic direction like he's he's done with that shit it seems but let's focus on that wholesale thing for a second i mean i guess he's saying that they'll still kind of indulge in it but they won't do it like the way they did it before like i know there's gonna be a classic sonic idw comic if it hasn't happened already there's still classic sonic merch for example but i guess they're saying there won't be some kind of classic sonic appearance in a main series title or huge amounts of classic sonic media like there was in the past i don't know is that some kind of deconfirmation of a mania sequel i don't know if you watch my video where i asked if classic sonic needs to die i kind of separated classic sonic Sonic the model from like gens onwards and you know games like mania where he's just referred to as sonic so maybe that doesn't stop that if games like that were to stop i think that would be a bit weird personally i'm not like i don't take any pleasure in there not being any kind of 2d style games or anything i just think the 
the split was too rigid you know what i mean like i would love to see for example like a level creator a sonic level creator where they have the zones from like the genesis games and then you can make your own custom levels but if you have that rigid classic and modern split you can't really mix both elements like if it's just a classic game you'd have sonic one two and three levels and then maybe cd as well maybe mania levels and that would be it but if you were to have a level creator game that wasn't doing this whole classic here modern there kind of thing then you could have zones from sonic one two three knuckles cd mania but you could still have zones from advanced one two three from rush sonic four or even from the 3d games like imagine taking like grand metropolis from heroes and then making a 2d version like a 2.5d version and adding that to a sonic level creator because you know it's one franchise right there's no split you know so i'm glad that hess doesn't like the split like he's obviously been in the community he's seen what the split has done to us it's kind of created this huge divide instead of us coming together kind of thing and the fact that he's saying sega's never going to return to it like i don't know i, I like the sound of that you know at least at the bare minimum it means no classic in modern games i mean i don't know if that means they're not return i, I don't want to like jump the gun too much on this you know what i mean but you know we have to recognize a good thing when we see a good thing you know but yeah i mean you can watch my classic sonic discussion video where i go into further detail on this it's just a split that i really think needs to die it's not like death to 2d gameplay like you can watch the video for full context i'm just saying i think this is good news the show is going to be modern focused so far we also know that's not going to be idw focused as well there's a lot of things happening about this show that i'm sure we'll figure out more of it later but yeah for this franchise to finally take some focus and just you know focus on modern sonic for a change i think is really great because this split thing that izuka has been you know getting hard to like I, I don't know but yeah nonetheless i'm happy for tyson hess that he's getting work clearly he's so busy he can't even work on the show i mean you know i guess we'll see what happens with the show i mean i guess people are a bit upset because obviously if tyson was working on it that's some kind of indication that it's going to be of quality right now the people working on it we don't really know if they're, they're the guys you know what i mean so we'll have to see when it comes to that show now i'm not saying that classic not being a thing anymore means that the adventure remakes are confirmed i'm just saying it's good because if they said classic coming back that could be a huge indicator that the whole adventure thing might not be happening the adventure renaissance that we're you know desperately hoping for at this point or even worse it could still be happening but they could be using like classic characters here's your adventure remake with classic sonic added or wisps or classic wisps that you take this wisp and turn into classic sonic and the level goes 2d you know let's just let's, let's, let's just hope that this is true i mean hess wouldn't lie to us come on he's not azuka <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> People are going to think I hate Izuka. I don't hate Izuka. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this information. Are you still looking forward to this TV show? Knowing that it's going to be of the modern variety? Knowing that Tyson Hess isn't involved in the show? What do you think about Classic Sonic potentially not coming back? At least from a character standpoint. I don't know about the gameplay. The pillars are different. We don't know what even they start working on. But yeah, that's the situation we got right now until we get more news. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Subscribe to the Nose Sonic channel. Link in the description. But... That's all I have to say right now, so, Dremia!